Hey everybody, this is Hollywood View Nick Shit, nigga. We finna talk about this topic gonna be about the water signs. See the whole thing about a water sign. Water is is the type of sign you need water in your life. You drink water. You need water. And see one thing about the water signs that these are the signs that are very compatible in a relationship as well. Cancers, Pisces, Scorpio. And Capricorn is not uh, it's not a water sign, but it connects good with the Cancers, really good. They understand each other. These signs are very, very compatible in go-getters. They got to have it. They could be very, very compatible when they come to a relationship. And this is the sign that should connect. Now, if the if the Pisces woman, if she don't be too emotional to the Cancer man, this would be a marriage. Pisces and a Cancer go together like 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 just everything. They just they go together so good together. And the and the Pisces understand how the Cancers run. They know how they act. They know this could be a very compatible relationship. Capricorn, the leak. Capricorn. They know how cancers roll. They, they, it's, it's the, it's, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Just, it's the opposite sign. I mean, they got quantities alike. They, 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 they can understand the cancer movement. Capricorn can really understand the cancer movement because they like the, the. You know, you know, like the flip side. You know how somebody say the flip side. You know, they 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 the same people. You know, they 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 movement is. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. That's another compatible sign. It's Capricorn. I love me some Capricorn. Woo. And um, Scorpio. That's another compatible sign. See, when you would a Scorpio, some Scorpios, when you when the men hook up, they can connect real good as far as being cool. Yeah, what's up, dog? You know, on some business type shit, you know, making money and shit. Cat, they will be good. Some these signs will be good into investing and making money together. They can be some millionaires together. These signs can connect so good that. They, you can leave your money in the house. I guarantee not. Now, water side will touch your money, but that's how good they is. As far as you can trust them, you know, it's it's a real very trusting signs. Now, the Scorpio is the type of sign that um, it's like the Cancer. They movement. They understand our movement. Um, they do things in the way that cancers do. They like to get money. Um, they only trust people to a certain extent. You know, they don't like trusting. They don't invite people over to their houses and stuff. Cancers do the same thing. We close in. We don't like a lot of people, you know. We like to be secretive, you know. We like to... You know, we like when we get in our home, this is our home. We don't take nothing and bring nothing to our house because that's 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 the way the water sign rolls. So we like to be neck tuned to the home because we don't like a lot of people coming to our house because that's how things come up missing and, and they be stealing and all that stuff. And we don't want to have to do with that. So we kind of like closed in. Well, the crab is closed in. But the Scorpios are the same way. They they, they understand the movement. We're very clean people. We like to keep stuff smelling like that. Roses and, you know, that good smell. You know, that good cook smell. You know, we like to eat food, cook, and, you know, the Scorpios do the same thing. So, basically, these elements in Pisces, as Pisces is, that 
that right there, Pisces move just like that too. The Pisces move, they go get us. What a cancer would do for a Pisces is when they when they communicate to each other and they kick with each other, uh, a cancer can help a Pisces out on some things that the Pisces might be lacking in. That's what cancer, that's why a cancer and a Pisces will be a very compatible sign because cancers can pick up the slack that the Pisces be lacking in. But they understand the movement. These signs that I speak can be very aggressive too. When they get angry, they can be very, very aggressive. They, they really can. Their movement is they make money and they do the same thing. All these water signs I just speak about, they move the same. If you find these uh, signs all three, these signs are very compatible. Four signs, I think it's four. Did I say four or three? Well, four or three is four signs that's very compatible. They can be some very business people, and they will bring a lot of money to the game. Either one of them that hooks up with each other, they can perform to be rich. And they very clean. They very clean people. They sign. They, they understand the movement. The feelings of them, the caring, what they do is care about, you know, they, they really care about the home. These signs, right, as I speak about, one thing they care about, the home, the money, they like to, they want, they like rich stuff. They like to get rich stuff. They like to have, they got a taste for it. They like to eat them steaks and stuff. But see, the water signs, they, they, that's the way they act. You know, that's why they people, a lot of people, um, if, if you can find a lot of water signs, people don't like. And they don't like them because the way they move or whatever, if a water sign don't like you, you would never know. He'll smile at you and still can't stand you. You ever seen somebody just smile at you, but they can't stand your ass? And kick it with you? And act like everything is all right. And we roll with you too. And won't like you at all. That's the water signs. You understand? Because if. If you. If they feel like. Um, that you is. Trying to. Um, be. Offensive. A foul. And they can read you. Because they good psychics. They can read right through you. They know that if you bullshit or not, but they will play along with you. Don't the water signs will play with you. They will sit there and watch you, and they will go along with the program. And then when the time come for them to just cut you off and be done with you, you know we we. Water signs are very clingy. They really are. It takes a long time for a water sign just to walk away from you. That's how much the love that they care about you. That's why they care so much about people. That's why they always say they clingy, but they the only ones that are going to care about your head. You know what I'm saying? They'll be right on your team. You get one good one on your team, they real, that's why they say they're real clingy. But one thing about a water sign, once they let you go, it's a wrap. Y'all ain't going, uh-uh. They not going to engage with you anymore. They're going to cut you off. And they could be pissed at you and, and roll with you and talk calm to you and be nice to you and don't like your ass. That's the water sign. That's the Pisces. That's the, maybe the Pisces might come out and say something. They might because they, because, I mean, sometimes they almost, when they get angry, they, they go up to the top. But, Far as the cancer man and the Scorpio, the Scorpio got a way of doing things when he don't want to deal with you too. But a cancer will watch you and be cool with you and still don't like you. And then if they tell you 
I done met a guy one day before he came over to visit me. I mean, another guy was talking to him and he was saying to me, um, yeah, I want to introduce you to this guy. He cool, you know, this dude, this dude real cool and this and that, you know what I'm saying? You should, you know, before I even got even, even close to the dude, I told the dude, I told the dude to say he wanted to introduce me to him. I told him, I don't want to get to know the dude. Because what was coming out of his mouth, it kind of turned me off a little bit. I don't want to deal with nobody like that. You know what I'm saying? Because when you run your mouth, all you got to do is be quiet and listen. And you can find out everything you want about a person. And water signs... They would do that. They would get, look, they would give all, they, they would get it back off for you if they love you. They would give you money. They will buy you shit. They will surprise you. They will take care of you. You ain't got to worry about nothing. When you dealing with a water sign, they take care of you. They make sure that your bills going to get paid. They going to make sure that you have to find these things in life. They're going to make sure that you don't lack in anything in your life when you with a water sign. That's how the water signs get down. If you can maintain their ways of doing things as far as they like shit to be right and perfect or whatever. They like to get that shit. They like to see their shit. They like to ha have nice shit and see things be right, you know. You got you something there. You will have you something there. And it would be that one for you. But, but the water signs never compare. They never hook up right. They never hook up with the right one, you know. They don't never hook up with the, you know, the, the connection they belong with. Like the water, all the water, like the Scorpios supposed to uh, hook up with the Cancers and, and the Pisces hook up with the the, 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 the Scorpios and the Cancers. We, we, we not hooked right. That's why you be having all these problems in your relationships because y'all not compatible. A lot of y'all is going with the different signs that are not compatible with you. You got to get somebody that's compatible, get you a water sign that's compatible with you because they understand your movement. You know, the woman got a lot of feelings. We understand the feelings of the Scorpio woman. You can put me in the room with a Scorpio woman and we can make her can talk whatever. She can look and look at me in my eyes and tell me everything just by just living. She can guess. What I'm thinking right there in front of me, and I'm sitting up here like, damn, what the fuck she reading me? Because they're very psychic. And the Pisces the same way. You could be in the room with a Pisces, they could be like they're looking at you, talking to you, and look dead in your face and tell you everything. And we that's just that's just the water signs, that's the way they move, you know. But they're very compatible with each other. If the cancers can get out the way, some of the ways that we do, you know, if we can just do, get what the very person that's very compatible with us, maybe a Scorpio, uh, maybe a, a Pisces, or maybe a Capricorn, and even a Taurus. A Taurus woman would be great too. Because we have the Taurus woman can be a great connection. I'm going to tell you why. The Taurus woman, she she know, she know like the nicest things in life. And that turns any water sign on, especially a cancer. At a turn, when she like the nicest things, they always, I know all Taurus like to go get the money. They like to go bring the money back. They like to take care of themselves. They like to go to school. And I, and I love that. That's what I said. That's another sign that could be connected to the water sign. A Taurus. A Taurus. And maybe a Virgo. If a Virgo 
can be in a certain way. If the Virgos, if they they be compatible with the Cancers, if they want to be so set in their ways, sometimes because they can, it can start off good. Y'all can have a good relationship, then all of a sudden the Virgo will be got a certain way of doing things. And when they get mad at you, they will cut you off. You hear me? They be done with you. That's the Virgo. That's the Virgo woman. You know, she'll be like, you know, she gets set in her ways. But it could be a, a good connection. But, nah, I don't think it's going to work. But the Taurus, Capricorn, the Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, and all them Pisces. It's the main connection for a long-term relationship. I guarantee you look at this right here on YouTube and you're going to say, that man right there, the one that got us married. I didn't never know I was going to find my mate. But if you hook up with the other ones, like the air signs and the fire sign, y'all got to make it work. It's no natural natural work and i'm not saying that y'all some of y'all ain't out there got a good connection with your fire signs and the air sign but they signs right there you gotta make it work it's not natural it's a difference between natural and making it work you got to make it work because they have to dislike and when people um, talk about cancers because when you they, they they run over cancers they run over the water signs because the water signs be so nice to people man they give them gifts they give they do things out of love but some people they they take advantage of it. and then when they talking about we snap and get mad and we be pissed off it's because of y'all messing with our gangster. See, you messing with our gangsters. Don't don't get that nice stuff twisted. You, you, you say you get pissed, then we get pissed off and we 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 go we snap. But I'm giving y'all this compatibility. I'm giving y'all the compatibility for the water sign. If you want a, a water sign, if get you a cancer and Pisces connection or a Scorpio and Pisces or uh, Pisces and Cancer or a Scorpio and Pisces or Capricorn or Taurus and maybe a Virgo just maybe because Virgos sometimes they get a set in their ways you know you I'm gonna put it like this you better not fuck up one time at least a Pisces uh, you fuck up with a water sign shit they don't tell them they gonna take it Man, so much shit you're going to have to go through, you know. And one thing I know about the air signs, they can snap back. And the water signs, it seems like shit. You will never hit the end of the shit. They going to remember that shit if they take you back. They're not going to lose out. They're going to remember what you did. So the, name, the water signs is very compatible. I just named them. All the elements that's connected. Um, like I said, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, and that, um, what I say, Taurus and Virgo, maybe Virgo, maybe Virgo, maybe we can work some out with Virgos, but they very, all of them is very compatible. It could be a long marriage. Be some go-getters. But if you do hook up all of them elements, if you hook up out of that element, then you got to make it work. To keep your marriage together, y'all going to have to make it work. If you catch a Virgo and a Sagittarius, something like that, you got to make it work. If you get a Gemini and a Pisces, you're going to have to make it work. Anything out of them elements, you got to make it work. Because they vary the opposite side. They opposite. So you got to roll with the punches.
But the ones I just meet, the ones I just told you, if you ever try to do that on your compatibility, I guarantee you will have a long-term relationship and you're going to be very happy. All right. This is that real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. This we do. This is compatibility with the horoscope side because I like doing that. So I'm just letting y'all know the signs that are very compatible. So if you need to be in a relationship and you're looking for you tired of arguing, you tired of keep uh, breaking up and messing with the other signs where it's not working, find your compatibility. Water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancers, Taurus, Virgos, all of them compatible with each other. All of them compatible with each other. Capricorn, man. Man, them Capricorn, boy, I swear, them damn Capricorn. Mm -mm -mm. You can do a lot with a Capricorn. And Scorpios, yes. Pisces, wonderful. You can do a lot of things for these signs. In the Virgo, we're going to make it work. In the Taurus, definitely yes. Taurus, motherfucking Taurus. They like the nice shit in life, and I love that shit. So these signs right here is very compatible. If these signs go out, they element who they supposed to hook up with. They got to make it work. And if they making it work, maybe it's going to be a long term with the other son. But you got to make it work. That's the only way it's going to work. All right. This is Hollywood. Keep that real shit going. I'm out of here. Peace.